over it's awesome so you can iron it and then it will be done and she's going to show you don't clip don't forget to click subscribe comment down below like this video Alrighty guys, so I'm going to show you the HTV cup. This can go on top of a cup that's just already colored, a cup that's glittered and self epoxied, but you do need it to a shiny state before you put any iron on onto it or HTV. We're using the glitter HTV. These are actually from my fall pack in 2018, but you can also get these colors available at all times on shopantitay.com. I love the transparent orange. It's one of my favorite. Okay, so I'm using Using my easy press I'm just gonna turn my easy press upside down and put it in its little like cradle and then I'm going to work the HTV onto the cup we've been doing HTV cups for a while but epoxying the outside just really secures the HTV on there and makes it awesome you're gonna notice that this might happen and I'm just gonna go right over that directly with my um, easy press or my iron the thing I love about Glitter HTV is it's so durable and you can just go over it directly with, with any heat source and I love it. Just make sure you're doing this. I have done this on plastic cups, but make sure the cups that you're doing this on are pretty durable and can handle the heat as well. But we have tried this a lot and we really love it, but the epoxy just puts it over the top. So once all my design is on, I'm just gonna give it one more good roll on the uh, Easy Press, and then I'm gonna pop it on my spinet. You'll notice that the neck of this bottle's a little bit snug, but once you get the little guys in there slowly, carefully, um, it fits really well and it's actually kind of big. So then you just have to spin it Screw the spinet till it's big enough to fit on there, and then we're going to epoxy over our HTV. So this is kind of like layer one of HTV without the glitter. You can also put a subtle white glitter in this. I love doing that for my final coat. It's really pretty. You would just mix that glitter in, but you don't want to use anything besides like white because it will um, cover your design. You don't want that to happen. So again, if you're getting to this step and you want glitter on the bottom, you will need to do the step one of ours and then start from there. You can iron on on top of your um, finished dried epoxy. So I like to get the epoxy on every area except the HTV first and then really douse that HTV. Um, you're gonna notice that like some of the epoxy is dripping off because I really just dumped it on there because glitter HTV is kind of thick so we want a good thick layer. We don't want to feel too much of the HTV. So I'm actually going to stop the spinet and just make sure that every piece of this is covered. Oh, and if you didn't know, Quaheri is by in Swahili, and that's what this means, by Felicia. I guessed, I figured you guys would guess that, but since I love going to Africa and I love the Swahili language and I love Lion King, I thought it was the cutest cup I could ever make for myself. Okay, so then we're just going to even this out, making sure that the epoxy goes all the way to the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna take a baby wipe and wipe off the top, just holding it in one spot and letting the spinet do the work. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom as well. And then I'm just gonna leave this on the spinet for eight hours and it'll be good to go. I'm gonna turn it up so that it goes pretty fast. So if you didn't know who I am, I am Auntie Tay's daughter, Brightly, and please give a big thumbs up to this video, subscribe, all that crazy stuff and please um, go to my channel Little Life of Briley. Briley is spelled B-R-Y-L-I-E and it should click up and please subscribe. Comment down below and everything. Bye!